Uh, hi. Sita. Uh, hi. So please introduce yourself. Yeah, okay. So uh, today I would like to introduce a Realtek USB4 hub solution. Okay. Uh, this hub is named uh, RTS 5490. So this is a very high integration uh, hub controller. There's an ARM CPU inside? Yes, uh, we have an ARM CPU uh, embedded inside. So what is special about this hub? Okay. What it can do? Um, the features of uh, this hub uh, is uh, the major features for this hub is uh, we have two features. Uh, one, very high integrations. 40 gigabit per second. Yeah, very that, fast. That's for option four. Yeah, because yeah. it's a USB four hub, and uh, it can be work compatible with uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt three, and uh, also USB three point two, DP two point one, and USB three point two Gen two by two. Every uh, high speed uh, combinations. Okay. High speed uh, H HDMI 2.1. Uh, if you uh, we uh, we have the DP uh, transmitter port here, so yeah. you can also uh, use the external DP to HDMI. Right. So you can output the deep, uh, HDMI to the monitor. Yeah. So a uh, very high speed data and video. Yes. Yes. 80 gigabit per second. Yeah, that, that's for DP. DP 2.1. Yeah. All right. So it, uh, not only uh, high speed, but also we auto integrate five PD controller inside. So that means uh, we can uh, have the. 240 watt for charging on each port. Nice. PD 3.2? Yes. Yes. That's very fast. Uh, very uh, the fastest. Power. The power. A lot of power. Huge power. Huge power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In one, everything in one cable? Yes. Uh, the power will reach, will, will reach uh, 240 watt. Yeah. So I think the power is enough for uh, every kind of PC. So this laptop can charge very fast. Yes. Yes. And uh, this is a this this dot. It could look like this. Yeah. And this is inside already. No. Uh, yes. We have an EVB port inside. So here I see DP and HDMI. Uh, this one HDMI? is HDMI. And DP. DP here. Yeah. How, but. Uh, uh, the Arch Info is here. This is Arch Info. Yeah. So connect to PC. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, is this the best hub solution in the world? Yes, I, I trust. I best. believe. Yeah, I, I believe because we integrate all the necessary IPs inside, so we can provide a very uh, high competition uh, solutions. So you do a uh, USB 3.2 hub. Yes, and uh, Gen 2 by Gen 2. 2 by 2. Better than 20 our gigabit. 20, yeah. 20 gigabit. It, it's uh, twice, twice than uh, better than uh, our competitors. Yeah. Uh, I have a MacBook uh, M1. Yeah, M1. And I always think it's USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. But yes. It cannot do 20 gigabit, or it can do 20 gigabit. 20, 20 gigabit uh, is working. Yeah, with For the M1. Mac M1, no problem. Yes, yes. 20 gigabit. Yeah, no problem. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. And at the same time, AK video. AK video. Oh, AK. 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 At the same yeah. time. Be because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the DP. Let me show you a picture. Because uh, USB 4 can uh, tunnel. DP, PCIe, and the UB3 uh, protocol at the same time. So all the DP related USB 3.2 uh, and the PCIe functions can can be working together. So I can do a 20 gigabit 20 gigabit per second SSD. Yes. And at the same time I can do a AK. That's correct. AK video. Yes, correct. And and uh, other charge, thing, charge the PC. Charge the laptop. Yep. At 240 at the same time. Yes. And another one more display. Oh, display. for PCIe. PCIe. Yeah. So you, you can see we have the PCIe uh, external graphic card here. The interface is uh, PCIe 3 Gen Gen 3 by 4. So you uh, for for the demonstration today, uh, we use the uh, external 
called uh, eGPU box. There is a, a graphic card inside. So the interface between this guy and the, our hub is Thunderbolt 3. So that means that means uh, the laptop can use the uh, can overload the AI uh, capability, uh, calculation capabilities to the external GPU. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is missing? Is everything people want is here? Yeah. Everything people want is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Nothing missing? No. Okay, uh, what's interdomain? Uh, interdomain. Uh, interdomain, inter interdomain uh, is a uh, feature uh, in the USB port spec. Uh, because our hub uh, has implemented uh, these features, so you can use uh, one cable uh, to transfer the data between two PC. Hmm. One cable? Yeah. The, for example, the, uh, the PC1 uh, connect to the dungeon board of the hub. Then the hub dungeon board connect to PC2. So, it, at the, uh, in this uh, connect, uh, scenario, the PC1 and the PC2 can transfer the data uh, at the same time, and the transfer speed is very fast. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is a new spec. Um, uh, so USB USB four has a. It's defined in USB four spec. Uh, what's the difference between Thunderbolt four and USB four? Uh, Everything. I think all the features, you, all the Thunderbolt features, are defined in USB four spec. So you Thunderbolt four? Yes, yeah, Thunderbolt four. 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 Yeah. Everything is in here. Yes. All right. Nothing missing. What is in this one? Oh, this one is a uh, seven pole USB three point two seven pole hub. This is another controller. Uh, this controller is uh, has connected behind the USB four hub in o in order to expand more I/O. For example, uh, the Ethernet, uh, the audio, the yeah, the storage. Is this uh, gigabit? Can you do 10, 10 gigabit Ethernet? Uh, 10 gigabit five, LAN? Right now, it's 5 gigabit. Yeah. How much? 5. 5. Yeah, 5. All right. You can do 10? Mm. You'll see. Uh, the, the port can support up to 10. But for this uh, Ethernet, it, it's only support uh, Gen 1 spec. Is it possible that you do Ethernet directly in the chip or no? You mean inter you no, no, we have no internet, yeah. no internet here. Yeah, yeah. It, it's an external okay. uh, component. Here's a demo topology. Uh, a lot of stuff happening here with the very nice speeds going on. Uh, and here is... What is a, the... What uh, is 208 and 3.1? This uh, the, the the demonstration today. We would like to deliver a concept for our customers. Uh, we use the USB 4 hub and the external graphic card. Uh, this uh, I we call this as uh, uh, AI dock, right? So this guy, there are two uh, the same uh, PC here. The left, 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 left guy uh, ha, uh, has no AI duct. The right, right side, this PC, has the uh, AI duct here. So uh, we use the two PC to compare the AI capabilities yeah. and the gravy performance. And you can just run? Yeah. So you can see here. Okay. This, this PC has no external GPU? Yeah, no, no external GPU. So, the F, it's <coughs> only uh, 10 FPS. Okay. But nice. for this one, uh, the FPS will be, will reach one, over 100. So when I go home, yeah. I connect my laptop to the external GPU, boom, I have a full computer. Yes, you can, you can uh, 
later you will later become AI PC or become gaming PC. Is this new idea or it's already a long time? Uh, I for for this one is a uh, original. Uh, there there are there are some is it is it in a product in the market, but uh, we would like to integrate this guy and our hub into a new box. Yeah. Uh, is this hub very very expensive? I don't think so. Yeah. Not expensive. Yeah, because. Uh, uh, we integrate all the components inside. So maybe uh, it would be possible to buy a hub like this for fifty dollars or something. Uh, I have no idea. I cannot say, but yeah. How much is the price of the CPU, the chip? chip? I cannot say. Yeah. I cannot say. So uh, <coughs> the best hub in the world. When is USB five coming? Uh, I think of USB Thunderbolt five, right? Maybe. Yeah. Or USB five. Uh, no USB 5, USB 4 V2. V2? Yeah, V2. What will change? What will improve? Uh, the the uh, data, single, uh, data rate uh, will be doubled to 80 gig. Nice. Yeah. How soon? 80 gig. How soon? How soon? You, you mean come to the market? Next year? Two years? Uh, I think uh, there, uh, Intel already had this solution. And, uh, I think we are very uh, delivered to market very soon. Yeah.